What? What? Yeah, I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of bass. What? Anybody out there, bring it. Yeah, yeah, I'm the king of bass. Hey, what's up, nephew? You know the Crusher ANC is out now, right? What? Let's do it. Crusher ANC, man, I ain't worried about that dude. Everybody always talking about the Crusher this, the Crusher that. Now we got the Crusher ANC. You know the Crusher ANC out, right? Hey, 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 man, what's up? So, uh, word on the street is that you got that bass. Yeah, I got bass. Yeah, well, you might have bass, but I'm the king of bass. Dude, you just got here. How you gonna be the king of bass? Because I said I'm the king of bass. Now, bow down to my gangster. <laughs> What's up, JD Aliens? Man, I am back. Today, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head battle of these two bassy beasts. This is the Sony XB900Ns. They came out a little bit earlier this year. So, yeah, they, they packed some thump. But just this weekend, we got the Skull Candy Crusher ANC in the building, and it is taking on all challengers. So let's go. All right, here we are. We got the Basie Beast ready to fight it out. I want to start off with the cases and accessories that come with these headphones because we're talking about 250 bucks, give or take, and like 300, 320, give or take some dollars uh, for these headphones. And when you pay that much for headphones, yes, you want the headphones because that's what you care about, but they got to look good and we kind of want some extra stuff, man, whether it's a good unboxing experience or some extra accessories, a case or something. So let's just start from here. When you pay 248 or 250, whatever you pay for these things, man, Sony is giving you not a case, but a pouch okay they give you this pouch it's got a tag right here that says sony it's a drawstring pouch and on the inside of it you got this i don't know what it's like felt it's yeah and yeah you hear that yeah there you go so i have always been angry at sony for not providing cases until you spend about 300 bucks uh, and they are still holding true to that. But to be fair, back in the day, they didn't even give you a pouch unless you spent about 300 bucks. So now, you know, you spend 250 and you get yourself a pouch. And then you get your accessories, which are USB-C cable. Yes, USB-C. And then you get your 3.5 to 3.5 cable right there. Now, moving over to the Skull Candy Crusher ANC, they do come with a semi-hard shell case. It's just this nice textured fabric right here, Skull Candy Brandon right there. Nice looking case and you lay them in kind of flat. You get your USB-C charger cable and then you get your 3.5 millimeter cable and that's all you get there in that package and it's also a great unboxing experience the reason why i have this pouch here is because this is what came with the skull candy crusher wireless okay this is their 150 dollars headphone this pouch comes with that 250 <laughs> and then this is 150 bucks do you hear the sound of this one it's a little bit more dense because on the inside of here, you got, look at this, man. You got two little pockets for your cables and whatnot you want to put in there. You could actually wash your car with this thing, man. This is like a, it's like a chamois, man. You can just flip this thing inside out and wash your car with it and have that paint sparkling. And then it doubles back to be a headphone case. With this Sony case right here, no, that's not happening. This is, it's just, ah. Uh, I'm so disappointed with Sony when it comes to accessories, but this is what you get with the Skull Candy Crusher Wireless. This is a $150 headphone. You get a case or a pouch rather, and this is a $250 headphone and you get this pouch. But let's put all this to the side because we don't need to talk about it no more. Let's bring out the stars of the show. Now, as far as aesthetics and build quality and all that whatnot, we're going to get right into it, man. Let's go with the Sony. So on the, which cup is this? This is the left ear cup. We got a customizable button here. You can customize this button to be an ANC button, ambient sound button, or your uh, voice assistant button, whichever one you want it to be. Right here, we have power. So you can turn them on this way or turn them off that way. Or you can use the NFC right here because it's built into this ear cup. On the other side, we got that USB-C charging cable then we got that three and a half millimeter port right there moving around the headphones everything looks fine they actually feel okay i did talk about this a little bit in my initial review this plastic is the same plastic that they use in the 1000 xm3s they just have this texture on it it's kind of a rough texture and this texture almost makes the headphones feel cheap they do not feel that great in the hand. I wish they would have used like a, I don't know, maybe something matte like this or like they could have coated it or something, but it really just feels kind of plasticky and cheap right here. I don't want to talk about too bad because it's really not that big of a deal. It's good plastic. I just don't like the texture or, or coating that they use. On the headband, everything seems great. 
a nice plush material here, even on the ear cup. You see that? Nice and squishy. And these big old open holes for you elephant ear dudes out there. You can stick your ear up in there, have yourself a good time. When you open up the headband, you got that stainless steel right there and it's backed up by plastic. Close it back up because we need to be on the other side of this ear cup and that's where all the fun happens. You got a swipe pad here. So swiping forward and back, you get your forward and back track. Swiping up and down, you get your volume. Now I was jamming these a little earlier today and I was having some trouble, man. I kept trying to turn the volume up and it kept flipping the track forward. So maybe that's just me and my hand gestures. I don't know. It's just, you got to get used to the swipe gestures on this thing. And it was a learning curve for me on the 1000 XM3 and it's still a learning curve for me on the XB900N. So yeah, you got to get used to that but other than that there is nothing else on this swipe pad oh yeah the play and pause and stuff too um which one is ambient sound? oh this side so if you hold your hand right here for i don't know a half a second maybe one second you get ambient sound it reacts very quickly to the touch but as soon as you remove your hand you're back to noise canceling or whatever stage you were at uh, before you did the ambient sound the only way you get to use ambient sound permanently or until you turn it off is if you uh, use it in the custom button or you go inside the dedicated app and turn it on then you can turn it off when you uh, please but yeah that's pretty much it as far as a walk around these headphones now let's go back over to the skull candy crusher anc on that left ear cup you can see that mic brought his day right there and then you got your infamous bass slider let's turn it down because we ain't ready for all that yet got your power indicator leds a power button you got your swivel action so i talked about this in my previous video you have 180 degrees worth of swivel here see how it's all the way down now it's all the way up most headphones do not do that i kind of like that uh this one you just have 90 degrees worth of swivel so just keep that in mind okay once we roll up this headband it is nice and thick plastic very durable feeling kind of stuff but we get up in here and expand this we got that stainless steel backed up by plastic and this is where they're very similar they do have a very similar structure as far as the headband, let me get that off of there. Uh, they have a similar structure because uh, from the yoke, we have this little spot right there. And then you got your headband stretcher. Uh, that's what we're going to call it, the headband stretcher. And then we get into the headband part. It's about the same size and it's styled the same way. That's pretty much the only similarity between these headphones. But let's go back into the Crusher ANC and talk about this comfort, man. This stuff right here, this stuff that they use in here is just as good, if not better. Actually, this is a little bit more dense. This almost feels like memory foam, whereas this just feels like soft foam because it's, I don't know, it just feels more dense. Coming around to the right ear cup, we got that USB-C charging spot, and then we got the three and a half millimeter port right there, and then you got your buttons right here. You got your up and down volume buttons, which also double as your forward and back tracks, and then you got your multifunction button, which does play and pause, and your virtual assistant, and uh, oh yeah, pairing too. So that's all built into that button right there. Now, as far as swipe gestures, there are none, but you do have ambient sound. So it says ANC right here. If you put your hand over here for five seconds, that's right, five seconds. That's a long time, man. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, you probably won't like it as far as like trying to hear something really quick. Uh, it takes a full five seconds for this ambient sound to turn on. And then once you take your hand away, it's still on, which is a good thing in my opinion, because you know, you kind of just want it on, but it depends on what you're doing and who you are, what, what your preferences are. The ambient sound here stays on once you turn it on and then you just repeat the process to turn it back off and you're good to go. There is no ANC built into these things, which is kind of unfortunate, even though it's not a feature you, you might use often. Um, with my XM3s, I use the ANC very, very often because it actually turns on the headphones. As soon as you tap your phone to this ear cup, uh, the headphones turn on and they're ready to play some music. Uh, these, you actually have to depress this button for a couple of seconds and then it'll get turned on. Since we're talking about ambient sound and stuff, let's go ahead and get into that ANC. So right here, I will have to tell you that the XB900N wins hands down in the active noise cancellation department. It is much stronger. Now it's not XM3 strong, but it is much stronger and much better than our Crusher ANC. With the Crusher ANC, you get a ton of white noise. Um, when you're playing music and stuff like that, it doesn't bother you at all. But if you just got the music turned off and you got the headphones on your head, yep, ton of white noise. And it might get on your nerves or you might be one of those people that it just doesn't bother you at all. But here, you get nothing. It's just silence. It's just for real, silence. But that brings us over to the dedicated apps for both sets of headphones. So let's get into this app. With the XB900Ns, you get a very complete 
app. Yes, there's a lot of things I wish Sony would do to it, but it's still complete as it sits right here. You have adaptive sound control where you can tap into this. You can actually turn it on. It'll actually detect your movements and stuff like that and kind of adjust the noise cancellation to where it's not so strong or it's just completely turned off, just kind of depending on what you're doing, whether you're walking, doing jumping jacks or whatever. I hate that because it's always like mismeasuring what I'm doing, but I'll just leave mine off. Right here, we got ambient sound control. That way you can manually do it. You can actually increase your noise canceling so you can hear stuff and it'll have your ambient sound going, or you can just shut the world off, or you can turn it up a little bit and then focus on voices. So it's a very complete noise cancellation experience when you're dealing with these XB900s. But then we have this sound position. So I don't know what this would be used for other than maybe if you're hard of hearing in one ear or something like that. So you can toggle the direction you want the sound to come from. I never use that. But right here in the surround VPT, that's where I start having me some fun. So let's open it up a little bit. Right now it's off. But if you feel like it, you can take yourself to an arena. Let's just tap that. So now you're in an arena. So it spreads out the sound, gives it this big wide sound stage, a little echo in there, a little reverb and stuff. Or maybe you want to tighten it up a little bit, go to a club. So you get a kind of a club sound. Outdoor stage, what else we got? concert hall and then off again. Then if you slide up a little bit, you see this EQ right here. While you're in any one of these venues right here, you can actually adjust your EQ either manually so you can have your own custom sounds right here. It does lock in too. Uh, but you can also do the presets, which would be speech, bass boost, treble boost, vocal, relaxed, mellow, excited, bright, and off. I usually like to go to treble boost, and then I'll go into this gear right here, and then I'll slide this clear bass up to about, I don't know, six or seven if I want that extra thump. Now, the XB series used to be famous for having a dedicated uh, bass button on the headphones, but it kind of sucks that Sony did away with that. They just said, you know what, let's just leave it up to the clear bass. So this is the only way you can get some extra bass boost in your music. It is clear bass. It doesn't muddy up the music at all, but uh, yeah, I just kind of wish they still had a physical button. So in any of these EQ settings, you can adjust the clear bass. So let's go back into, uh, I just showed you how to do it in treble. So let's go to uh, let's go to speech. So with speech, they take all the bass out, right? So all the bass is out. You can add some bass back in, some clear bass. You can add some bass back in if you want to. Turn it all the way up to 10. I've messed up all my EQs messing with y'all. Got my music player right there. So I can just toggle my music player within the app, which is kind of nice. And then you can actually choose uh, whether you want the priority to be on the sound quality or a stable connection. Now, if you put it on the sound quality setting, you're gonna lose some functionality in here. You're gonna lose your sound position control and definitely your surround sound VPT. I'm not sure if you'll actually lose your EQ. Well, you know what, let's go ahead and test it right now. So let's put it on sound quality. Hey, let me see if this will let me change it. Yep, it won't let me change the uh, sound surround VPT, but let me see if it'll let me change the EQ. So let's go to bright. Yep, you lose your EQ as well if you want to uh, have it set on priority for the sound quality. Uh, you got your DSE settings right there, uh, DSEE. -E. Uh, I have mine on auto. And then that's where you can go in and program your ambient control button or your Google Assistant or your Amazon Alexa on this button right here that says custom. They even go as far as having an automatic power off setting where you can actually pick and choose uh, whether it's five, 30 or one hour or three hours uh, before the headphones turn off by themselves, just in case you forget to turn them off by yourself. Now, moving over to the Skull Candy app, <sighs> I'm appreciating the fact that they have an app, but they didn't do a whole lot with it. We have this um, personal sound that they have. And let me tell you, it is great. I'm not discounting the effectiveness of the personal sound. It is fantastic. I got to turn the headphones on first. So let me push this mushy button right here. I did state in my last video that these buttons are kind of mushy and I really don't like the feel of them, but you know, you get what you get. So if we go into the settings of the app, let's see if we can do some stuff. No, we got product help. We got the registering of the headphones and that's all they give you there. And then we'll hit these little lines right here. Product helps, goldcandy.com, privacy policy, terms and conditions. So nothing fun there. You're connected. Uh, did we already do settings? Yep, did settings. And then that, that's it, man. You got your battery percentage. They give you nothing. Let's go into the personal sound. So you can set up several personal sounds. I don't know if they put a cap on it or not, but I got one set here is called JDL sound. So the way the personal sound works is it's just a hearing test. Uh, it's going to play a series of audible tones on the left and right ear. And all you do is punch yes or no, depending on whether you can hear it or not. Then the app kind of configures how deaf you are to certain tones and it kind of 
kind of brings them up a level or two. That way you can actually hear them in your music. So that way you're going to be able to hear things now that you weren't able to hear before in these headphones because now they've been leveled up just a little bit so you can actually hear them. It doesn't over exaggerate them at all. It just makes them audible so you can actually hear them in your music. So yeah, you're probably going to be surprised when you listen to the Skull Candy Crusher ANC. You're probably going to be hearing some stuff that you haven't heard in a while or maybe if ever before. But that's really all you get with this app experience. And to be honest with you, I'm really glad we have an app now, but I'm also kind of disappointed because it feels like a missed opportunity on Skull Candy's part. But because we have personal sound here, how much more of an EQ do you need? Because it's like, you know, personal. Uh, so it makes me kind of question what I really, really want from an app. Uh, because yeah, I like the personal sound, but sometimes you want to add a little bit more tweak to it, like the like the venues and stuff. Let's go back to the... Uh, uh, the Sony's so like yeah what if I want to add like you know the, the theater or the arena or concert hall reverb to my music I wish we had something like that in the Skull Candy app that would be great I understand the personal sound is like for you but what if I wanted to travel to a venue so that might be something good to add into this app right here and also maybe some extra control on the ambient sound or the noise canceling department now it's time to get into what matters most when you buy headphones how do they sound being that these are bass boosted or like bass head headphones, yeah, we gotta test out that bass, man. Woo, yeah, okay, that's the Sony's. Oh man, that's that XB, baby. Okay, man, I get so hype. <laughs> man, I get so hype. Okay, man, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. If you already got these headphones, you're doing well for yourself, man. You're doing real well. You're doing good, my friend. These are excellent headphones. I've already done a review on them and I told you they sound fantastic and I still stand by that, man. I don't disagree with anything that these headphones put out. They get super loud and they pack a ton of thump. Sometimes it's a little bit too much for me, man. So I gotta go into that app and turn down that bass a little bit, which is why I'm so disappointed that there's not a button here, a dedicated button anymore on the XB series headphones. Why you do me like that, Sony? Uh, yeah, so as far as bass, they got it. Very natural sound and bass because it's in the music. And even that clear bass, uh, as you turn it up, it doesn't distract you from the mids and highs. It really does create a nice booming bass effect and it still maintains this nice punch that I like. But when it comes to the crushers, let me turn, let me, let me turn this off. But when it comes to the crushers, they do not get as loud. Sony wins hands down when it comes to overall volume. Yeah, they will make your ears ring because these things get so loud. But these have a much brighter sound signature out of the box, even without the, the personal sound activated. I have a bright sound signature on my personal sound as well. I just like bright sound signatures, but I like that bass. You know I like that bass. So when it comes to bass, the bass is good with the bass slider turned all the way down and even a quarter of the way up. But that halfway mark, man, God dog it. The halfway mark is where it's at in these headphones. If you want some extra thump, go ahead and drive yourself crazy and blow your eardrums out going three quarters and all the way up. But the halfway mark is where it's at. It provides the perfect amount of bass and it's got that haptic bass so you can feel it. You become more involved with your music when it's rattling your cage. Here, you definitely love your music because it's got the right amount of bass and everything sounds wonderful in these headphones. I'm not taking anything away from the sound, but I gotta give like the music quality to the crushers because it involves you in your music. It, it The music pretty much violates you, man. It gets all up in your, your neck and in your spine and has you going through eargasms and whatnot, eyes rolling all back in your head, people looking at you strange. Yeah, man, the experience inside of the Crushers is just, it's second to none when we add in that haptic bass, man. And it's just, it's awesome. So as far as sound quality, man, I gotta give it to the Crushers, even though they are not as loud as the XB900 ends. As far as the Crusher ANC Bluetooth microphone quality for like gaming and stuff like that, you're listening to it right now. So I hope this sounds good to you. Now you're getting a chance to listen to the XB900 Bluetooth mic quality. Um, I don't know if it sounds better or not. I guess we'll see as I edit this video. So hopefully this sounds good to you as well. Now for sound leakage, 
that's something we got to test out. I don't normally do a sound leak test, but somebody brought to my attention that that's important because you don't want like everybody hearing your music, even though you are jamming. So let's go ahead and do a quick sound leakage test, full blast with the Crusher ANC. I'm gonna put these bad boys on my knee and I'm gonna step away from the mic a little bit because uh, I'm right under the microphone and it picks up a lot of extra sound that it shouldn't. So I'm gonna step away a little bit and let you hear these things wrapped around my knee so you can get a feel for that sound leakage. Okay, right now I'm playing the Crushers and I know I'm talking over it right now, but I'll tell you, the sound leakage full blast is very, very minimal. And I can feel the vibrations on my legs, but yeah, you can barely hear it out here. So I don't know what the mic is picking up. Here we go. That's not that bad at all. And that's full blast. All right, here we go with the XP 900s. All right, so that really surprised me. Uh, I think the Sony's might be, oh man, half a click lower as far as uh, the, the sound leakage, uh, as opposed to the Skull Candy Crusher ANC. You know what, let's just go ahead and give that a tie, man. They were both very quiet at max volume. And I was really surprised because these get a lot louder than the Sony's. Uh, yeah, I was, that was, that's pretty impressive, Sony, how you keep that noise contained inside of these ear cups. So now that I brought up ear cups again, let's talk about it. Man, look at these ear cups. Those holes are massive. Yeah, you can put your big floppy elephant ears in there and just hang out in there all day. Whereas the Skull Candy ear cups are a little bit tighter. I think, you know, Skull Candy, they, I feel like they just make their headphones for a more youthful crowd who has smaller heads maybe, but there's some big headed kids running around here, man. Some big floppy ear kids. My ears actually do fit in here, so I'm not worried about it, but some of y'all might have some trouble with this. Whereas the Sony's, they got these massive holes, so that might be a big issue for you. As far as comfort, Mm, uh, I think they both weigh about the same. I don't feel a vast difference in either one of them. And the, the foam and the ear cups feel great. And the, the form is great. So as far as comfort, I got to give them a tie. But where the Sony shine is that app support, man. Sony has killed it with features and app support. The Sony has a better hear through feature, which is the ambient sound. Uh, Sony has the NFC. Sony has all those features you can toggle around in the app and it's just a better experience as far as that stuff is concerned. If you're just worried about the music, man, and the rumble, that's where you go with the Skull Candies because they got it hands down, man. Skull Candy really did their thing with this edition of the uh, Crusher series. So yeah, man, there you are. That is your competition between the Skull Candy Crusher ANC and the Sony XB900Ns. I'm not gonna tell you which one to buy. I just gave you some good points. Hopefully you got enough information to make a good informed decision on where you are gonna spend your 300 bucks. Cause we got 320 right here and we got about 250 right here. So either way, it's about 300 bucks. That's a lot of bread to be dumping in some headphones. So you need to make a good choice, man. I hope I helped you out. And if I did, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha, <laughs> almost got me there. Look, if you wanna hang out after this video, Make sure you dig off in those links and follow me on social media, man. And then you can throw those emoji hands up in the comment section. And I'll see y'all tomorrow because it's Crusher Week, baby. I'm doing Crusher videos every day this week. And tomorrow's going to be another hot one. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey, where are you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?